I'm here with Frank Vander Hayden and Marco Vader from Equinix. Frank, tell us a little bit about Equinix and what you guys do. Well, Equinix is a worldwide data center and co-location service provider. We have more than 100 data centers all over the world, even here in Shanghai and Hong Kong, and in the US and in Europe. Uh, we have also five data centers uh, in the Netherlands. And the special thing about the Netherlands and Equinix is that we are also having managed hosting and managed networks. And then we have several customers uh, around in the enterprise market, but also in the governmental market and the financial institutions. Frank, what are the DDoS issues facing the Equinix network today? Okay, well, you know, it's not only an Equinix network issue, it is a, it's a worldwide issue. Uh, DDoS attacks, also called cyber attacks, are done um, by, by individuals or groups of individuals who want to uh, delay the, the traffic on your website. So all your formal messages in your website uh, with an attack are, is not possible. You're not available anymore. Uh, within our network, we so solve that, uh, that problems also by our network operations team. And with a DDoS solution, automated DDoS solution, we can do it automatically. And that makes it much simpler and much fast. So the, the website of our customer is more uh, is available much sooner again. Marco, what kind of measures does Equinix take to help solve DDoS attacks for its customers? Until this moment, if there is a DDoS attack uh, happening, then our whole uh, network is congested. So a DDoS attack is always aimed at one customer. Uh, but uh, on that uh, occasion, the whole network is unavailable, so all our customers are unavailable, so we have a big problem. On this moment, if there is a DDoS attack uh, going on, then a network engineer is logging into the network and uh, isolate th this one customer from the network so the rest of the network isn't uh, in uh, infected. Uh, but that is not a perfect solution because that customer is still uh, isolated and not available for his, uh, for his business. So that's, that's how we do now and that's why we have to do it, it uh, on another way. And that's why, why, why Huawei came into our lives. Marco, when Equinix was considering an anti-DDoS solution, what were some of the factors that went into your decision? When we started, we made a short list of, uh, of uh, requirements from the customer. Uh, so we, we searched in the market of anti-DDoS solutions, what are the, 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 the providers who, of hardware who made uh, anti-DDoS solutions. There came out a short list. Uh, two uh, of those providers uh, were uh, meeting the requirements of the, of the, of the customer. Uh, so we needed to make a proof of concept and that's why who I came, uh, came out because uh, the business case was also f uh, in perspective of, of Huawei the best. Frank, Marco, thanks for joining us today.